I'm Ross. Oh, you must be Daphne's youngest cutaway seed. Will you, will you kindly pass the cassowary bird? I suffer from nominal aphasia, you see, or forgetting the names of common objects. So in order not to appear gaga, I've invented a way of overcoming the cutaway seed, which is to interpolate the phrase cutaway seed whenever I hit a verbal hurdle. And it's spoken rapidly. With great confidence, it deceives most listeners into thinking I've said something sensible. I also lob in the occasional cassowary bird to cloud the issue. And people think it is their hearing at fault, or perhaps my false teeth. And no one suspects my cunning cowy seed, except sometimes nimble-eared young cassowary birds who tell me, Grandma, you're rambling again. But I tell them to shut their cutaway seeds or I will smack their cassowary, cassowary birds. You're the first person I've told this elastic giraffe. So promise you'll keep it under your cassowary bird. And please pass the cassowary cutaway seed. I asked you for it five minutes ago. beautiful women marry such terrible men. Well, I thought it deserved turning the other way around. Why do such tons of beautiful brainy blokes marry such screaming hags? <laughs> well, at first seem all they desire, but in a year become appalling nags. I say appalling, not merely touchy. Shopping mad and dumb, as they put there simply to illustrate how gracious men through evolution have become appalling shrews, always nitpicking, self righteous, slummocky, vain, whose very appearance down the pub drives beautiful blokes and their mates insane. Could the trouble be that a beautiful bloke doesn't pick a reliable chum but falls for the same old Oedipal KO and marries a spit of his mum? <laughs> Does he? Oh, might be so. <laughs> um, yes, and uh, now, here's 